The Christmas story seems so peaceful and silent nightish, doesn't it? Baby is born and laid in a manger. But this is no ordinary birth, and this is no ordinary baby. The old prophet Simeon noted that this child would cause the rise and fall of many. What does that mean? Let's look at Luke chapter 2, 34 and 35. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign that is opposed. And a sword will pierce through your own soul also, so that thoughts from many hearts will be revealed. After the birth of Jesus, Mary was required to wait 40 days before going to the temple to offer a sacrifice for her purification. Mary and Joseph's sacrifice of birds instead of a lamb is an indication of their poverty. From Mary's scandalous pregnancy to Jesus' birth in a, in a place where animals were kept, his, his upbringing in a poor family and the father stripped him of every royal privilege. At the temple, there was a righteous and devout man named Simeon, and he was waiting for the coming Messiah. When Simeon saw Jesus, he took the, the baby in his arms and he broke out in praise. Simeon called Jesus the light or the revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory of your people Israel. He noted that Jesus would cause the fall and rising of many in Israel as the only way to God. Many would believe and be saved, the rising, and many would reject Jesus and be separated from God forever the rising, and the falling. Then Simeon added a hard truth. He told Mary, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also. With the baby Jesus only 40 days old, she's holding a month-old baby, Simeon prepared Mary for her newborn's suffering and death. Mary, too, would suffer as she watched Jesus go through the pain of rejection and agony of the cross. The reminder of suffering surrounded Jesus from the first days of his life. He suffered so we could be healed spiritually and healed forever. By his wounds, we are healed. We are saved. So, Father, as we celebrate Christmas, don't let us forget the mission of Jesus. Don't let us forget that you sent your Son to pay the, the penalty of our sin on the cross. Don't let us forget in the, in the busyness of all the stuff going on at Christmas. Don't let us miss your purpose for sending Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.